I'm about to explain hot wallets to you in the easiest way possible to understand it. So hot wallets is a crypto wallet that is connected to the internet. This makes it really, really easy to transact because you have easy access to it. It's connected to the internet. You can use it for transactions. You can send crypto, you can receive crypto, you can trade crypto. Now, the really popular hot wallets out there that you can simply have on your mobile device are Coinbase Wallet, Trust Wallet, also MetaMask, which actually is a multi-platform type of hot wallet because you can also have it as a desktop version. Here's something really important to point out. Just because you have crypto on a hot wallet that's on your phone, the crypto itself, the coin or token, is not inside the hot wallet. It always exists on the blockchain. So when we refer to hot wallet, cold wallet, which we'll get into later, or cold storage, when we refer to these things, we're just talking about who has the access to the private keys to the actual crypto. So when you're using Coinbase Exchange or Binance Exchange or Kraken Exchange, you do not have the private keys to your crypto. In the world of crypto, they say, not your keys, not your crypto. Why do they say that? Because if you have access to the keys, then you control your crypto. If you have it on an exchange, you're kind of giving the control to them. This is important to point out because even if you bought it on Coinbase Exchange, but then you transferred your crypto to the standalone wallet app, which is Coinbase Wallet, it's considered a hot wallet, you control the keys, not Coinbase Exchange. So if Coinbase actually went belly up, you're still fine because you have the keys. Now, when I say that you have the private key, what exactly does that mean? Well, when it comes to hot wallets, it's typically a 12 or 16 seed phrase. This seed phrase, when you set it up, if you have it, that means that you have access to your keys because the public key is actually derived from the private key. But I digress. I made a whole video about private keys versus public keys. You can find that in the description of this video. What I want to point out is that if you lose your seed phrase or your private keys, then you are screwed. You cannot recover your crypto. This is something that is troublesome to a lot of people. This is why people say a lot of Bitcoin is locked, lost forever, because people forget their seed phrase or they forget their private keys, especially back in the day when crypto was just worth pennies on the dollar. People were not taking it as seriously. Now that it's worth hundred thousand dollars people are freaking out if they can't figure out their seed phrase or private keys or where they stored it so here's the catch hot wallets are connected to the internet makes it super easy to go ahead and transact to send and receive crypto but because it's connected to the internet, because it's typically on your mobile device, it is vulnerable to hacks, to phishing attacks, to malware or spyware being on your phone. And then if someone gets remote access to your device, they can transact with your crypto because they can gain access to your keys and they could sign transactions. This is very scary to a lot of people. So what is the solution? Well, it's considered much more safe than keeping it on an exchange because you actually have the keys. But a hot wallet isn't the most secure thing because it is connected to the internet. So you do want to just have small amounts of crypto that you have on a hot wallet that you're just planning to transact with or hold for a little bit. Now, why do people keep their crypto on exchanges? It's typically because they just don't understand hot wallets cold storage, which we'll get into later, and they just keep it on the exchange because also they might just be trading and wanting to convert it back to fiat. Most of the time, when people shift money from a hot wallet back to an exchange, they are looking to cash out. That is why it's a very bearish signal. You might be reading articles about, let's say, a whale moved you know, $10 million worth of Ethereum back onto exchange. And then everyone's like, wow, what's going on? Why is a whale selling their Ethereum? And so when someone transfers their money off the exchange to a hot wallet, that's more of a bullish sign. But again, I digress. We're just trying to explain the point of a hot wallet. So if you have a tremendous amount of money or someone who's in crypto has a lot of money and a lot saved up, 
they're really not just gonna save it on a hot wallet. What they do is that they actually transfer that to cold storage, which is actually not connected to the internet. If you want me to make a full video on that, I'll be more than happy to do so. Mention it in the comment section. But again, I wanna reiterate that if you are gonna be using hot wallets, don't keep a tremendous amount in it. Make sure that you save your seed phrase and you know exactly where you save it. Do not upload it to Google Drive or anything like that. Probably actually jot it down, have your own system, hide it somewhere that you know if you need to access it or your memory gets shot or you party too much and you can't remember it, you know exactly where to go to recover that seed phrase. And also, I wanna point out that it's always healthy practice to not just have one hot wallet. Wallet. You can create several hot wallets and that's really the best way to do it and it's more secure if you've diversified your hot wallets. So in my case, I have three different hot wallets. I do not keep a lot of crypto on it and it's very, very helpful and useful if I wanna send crypto to a friend, if I wanna receive crypto, if I actually wanna trade for different crypto, and then if something crazy is happening and I wanna transfer that onto an exchange and actually go ahead and cash out, I could do that quite easily. There's other ways to cash out. Perhaps I'll make a video on that during a separate time as well. But I just wanted to jump behind the screen and talk to you about hot wallets because I was talking to a friend and they were explaining to another friend that their crypto, their Bitcoin, XRP, Ethereum is on their hot wallet. And it was really aggravating to me and I didn't correct them, but I decided to jump behind the screen and explain what a hot wallet is because your crypto is not actually on your hot wallet. So the crypto, always exists on the blockchain. All we're doing with these different wallets and stuff is we're moving around the keys and seeing who actually owns the keys. That is the difference between a hot wallet and an exchange like Coinbase, Binance, Kraken. Hopefully that clears up a few things. If you have any questions whatsoever about hot wallets, please mention in the comments section. If there's a specific hot wallet that you want me to cover as far as how to set it up, best practice methods, and everything else, mention in the comments section. I will be more than happy to create a video on that. I appreciate you all for watching this video in its entirety, and hopefully I'll see some of you in the next one. And remember, don't just worry about the safety of your crypto. Keep an eye on your mental health. Keep it in perspective. Live a balanced life. See you in the next video.